guys, welcome back to ConcertGenie.com. My name is Michael Freed. I'm a freelance musician and private instructor here in Los Angeles, and I'm here today to be your instructor to teach you a little bit about my instrument, the violin. Now, the violin is a member of a family of instruments known as the string family that includes the violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. Now, what separates these instruments apart from other string instruments that we know, like the guitar or the harp, is that they can be played either by plucking or by being bowed. Now, it was a long, long time ago, early 16th century, we assume that um, humans first discovered how to play on a string with a bow as opposed to being just plucked. Now, the way that the violin looks today and sounds today is mostly due to an Italian family by the name of Stradivarius that perfected the design of the violin around the early 17th, 1700s, the 18th century, but the 1700s. Um, now, the violin is basically just a wooden box that we, uh, we use wood because it has a very resonant sound if you think about knocking on a door and think about how that door might sound if it was made out of metal. That's why we don't use those other um, materials to make this kind of instrument. Um, so the violin is simply, like I said, a wooden box. On top we have the bridge where the strings of the instrument travel across, attached to a tailpiece, and then right next to the tailpiece we have the piece called the chin rest. Now this name is a little bit deceiving because we don't actually put our chin directly on the chin rest. It goes a little bit more underneath the jaw. Um, similarly, we have an object on the back as we, we know as a shoulder rest. Some violinists do not use a shoulder rest, but most do. And once again, this name is a little bit deceiving because it doesn't go quite directly on our shoulder, but a little bit more underneath our collarbone so that the instrument is very comfortably close to our neck and our body, and it can be supported without the help of our left hand, as you can see here. So the sound of the violin, as you uh, saw demonstrated, is very bright, very brilliant, and very sonorous. And I say sonorous because compared to the other string instruments like the cello, viola, bass, this instrument tends, the sound of it tends to soar over the others when you hear them all in an orchestra or other type of ensemble. This is mostly due to the fact that we have a really bright and brilliant E string whereas the other instruments do not have a string that is wound, uh, tuned so high as this one is. And it allows us to play really, really high notes. That was kind of a sloppy example of a scale there, but um, you can see that we have the ability to play at a really, really high range. Now the sound of the violin and the other string instruments is also very unique because we have control over something called intonation. This means that I don't just have, but I have access to all of the notes in between those. I can slide up those notes rather than just placing my fingers down to create new ones. Now, this special ability allows me to make something known as glissandos. I can play two notes very plainly. or I can decorate the step in between them by glissing up. I also can add vibrato as you I just showed you, where I shake my hand and just ever so slightly change the angle and direction of the finger, making contact with the fingerboard, which then changes the intonation. I'm so excited to teach you a little bit about, more about day to day about my violin. Um, and I hope you can join us soon again here on ConcertDini.com. Have a good one.